today but i guess i'm doing it because i started uh so here we are three of us uh quarantined at home as per usual on binary jazz which is uh me jazz sequence him uh binary gary and uh <laughs> you know her that, that allison one. plus and we're all binary jazz or something it's like Captain Planet with all the different elements. Only yeah. Only what three. what element? What element are you? I don't know. Mer- I knew Mercury. You were ask as soon as I mentioned that, and I was like, "Oh crap! There's, we do not have an answer." In Captain Planet, there's only there's four. Correct. Is it just like Earth, Air, Fire, Water? Yes. And then they make Captain Planet or Spirit. Wait, what? They make Captain Planet like the well, four like, of them together. Him. Yeah, they like summon they, him. They bang their rings together, and he yeah assembles like, without all those elements. elements. You can't have the planet. I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very confused. Chris, this, this is, is a not reproductive a hard system. To There's a reproductive system here that that just doesn't. I don't. I don't understand. Captain Planet only shows up when they combine their powers. Kind of like the Care Bear stare. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking um, similar to Power Rangers, but yeah. Oh. Okay. Boy, a lot of uh, cookie cutter uh, attempts to teach kids teamwork there. Eh? Yeah, we're hitting on a lot of nostalgia points. <laughs> hey, if you all work together, you can make a superhero. On your own, you kind of suck. Oh, okay. <laughs> on your own, you're just. <laughs> On your own, you're just water. What is that? <laughs> Cleaning people and hydrating. Who wants to be water? <laughs> I think everybody would be fire, right? I, I think I think the thing I think the one I think <laughs> the like, element. I'm fine. If we're if we're doing if we're doing elements, I think probably the element that nobody would want to be is would be earth, probably. Well, as an earth sign, I resent that. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not judging. I'm just saying like collectively, like the majority of people. <laughs> I love that. I'm not judging you. <laughs> it, was the, it was the lot I was given. <laughs> uh, um, how are you all every, doing? Yeah, I was going to say that. Cool. I am living the dream. <laughs> No, I don't. Oh, by know. dream, don't... you mean the the nightmare, the nightmare? Of, <laughs> yeah. of never seeing another human soul um, ever again. It's a roller coaster. It's. A, I used to say that. It's a downturn of the roller coaster, not the fun part. It's like it's, the part. This the is the part, part where you're like you're going up and up and up, and you're like terrified about what's going to happen next, but you don't know like what's on the other side of like how how high this this roller coaster is going to go. Yeah, like you're, but you're at the bottom of the downturn. Yeah, so you're yeah. like, We have a long way to go before yeah. we even see what's happening. And this thing is going really slow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm. It's not. like going. <laughs> I didn't really need another lesson in patience, but. It's like one of those yes, really rickety roller coasters that like shakes and rattles and makes horrible noises. <laughs> Where you're like, this is scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's the terror of the roller coaster itself and also combined with the terror of it falling apart uh, while you're on it. There's um, a little amusement park on Toronto Island and there's this haunted house ride and it's scary but not because it's scary, but because it's so rickety. You're like, it has one of those fake things where like the TNT blows up and then the barrel like looks like it's going to fall on you. And I'm like, no, I think it's actually falling. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have faith in the system at this point. (laughs) Yeah, that sounds Um, good. I I don't have faith in the system. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. I I used to say that a lot, like living the dream. I would say when I was, you know, working in the, you know, if this cat makes it through quarantine, it's going to be amazing. Um, it's got cockroach genes. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, 
uh, I used to say live in the dream a lot. Um, when I was doing like the uh, e-commerce thing, when I was talking, you know, like people I was selling stuff to or buying stuff from, you know, and uh, it was always like a sort of pseudo joke, like, and I didn't realize just how deep and dark that reframing of the American dream went. Living the dream. Yep. This is it. I also, I got, <laughs> I got, I, I got an update on some health stuff and the nurse left me a message and she was, and they have permission to like actually talk to me on my answering machine. Um, and she was just like, your blood test results were mostly okay. <laughs> and that was it. And I was laughing because I was just like, mostly okay. I was like, I don't know what that means in a health context, but like, so now it's also my new response from people asking me how I am. I'm like, mostly okay. Cause I'm like, I think I'm okay. But like, there's a part that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's horrifying. How do you, how do you, I mean, I understand we're all under stress, but I think I would probably catch that when I was leaving the message if I said it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Like, don't panic. Yeah, like, it's sorry. Mostly, I'm just, it's I feel like I would like. <laughs> like, I'm low on iron, but like, everything else is looking great? Or is it like, right? we've got yeah. some news and we'll be calling you back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I just thought it was funny because I was just like, oh, that's such a phrasing that like, nobody is, no one's thinking, like, I don't know. We're all stressed out. Um, yeah, mostly okay. Like, uh, you, you actually have like tea running through your veins. So, <laughs> no blood. I mean, just... you're alive, but <laughs> there's tea there. <laughs> I hope that they're calling to tell me that I'm a mutant and they're, I have a super, pet. they're like, you're mostly okay. Actually, you're outstanding. You have the power to convert. I don't even know. Earth, air, fire, and water into capital. Yeah, I, I was going elemental again. I'm like, yeah. where's not just like you know you take this finger which is earth and this finger which is yeah. water and i can make tea <laughs> like that or something i'm like oh now i have a cup of tea <laughs> um all jokes aside i'm not doing great but that's sort of the way of the world i guess so it is sort of what it is yeah Every morning I wake up and I think, okay, today's going to be okay. And then like, a, there'll be something like I'll come into work and there'll be some message like, we're doing this planning for this terrifying thing and everything is fine, but we're planning for when everything isn't fine. And it's just like, oh God, I'm going to die. <laughs> is that right? Not literally, I'm going to die. Oh my God. Right. Like even saying jokes like that, like that's, that's not a thing. Okay. I didn't say that, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Everything's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. In Toronto, at least, they canceled all city stuff until Canada Day, um, which includes, like, Pride and... It's all July sorts 1st, of, right? Yeah, all sorts of things. Hey, I know what a Canadian holiday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready so to July move. 1st? Yeah. Yeah. Their Independence okay. Day is, is on the 1st of July, and ours is on the 4th of July. That's my, how I remember. My, my state just, just shut down yesterday, finally. It did. I don't know if you saw that news. Yeah, finally, no, yesterday. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry. No, it goes into effect, I think, at midnight tonight. But finally, it was announced. Oh, maybe we should stop this, like, uh, you know, letting every county decide what they want to do. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, uh, well, Utah. Sometimes Utah. it's good to be a late adopter, but this is not one of those times. U Utah is not, is a, is a suggested stay at home. Uh, it's not an order, it's like a recommendation, but individual counties have mandated um, shelter in place, including Salt Lake um, and Summit County, which is where Park City was, is, but it will be was soon because they got hit harder than anywhere else because nobody lives there except tourists um, and, and temporary. So like the folks that do live there, it, like the per capita rate up there was ridiculous. Um, and I used to work there, so that's fun. Um, yeah, and a couple other counties have, have just jumped on recently. Um, and I mean, honestly, like, you get into the rural parts of, of Utah, it probably doesn't matter. Like, I mean, that's where Aaron and the kids are going, like, to get outside and get exercise and whatever. They're going to, like, these, like, nature areas and, like, places with petroglyphs and crap. And, like, there's not a soul 
within miles. So like, it doesn't matter out there. I I remember the first time I saw petroglyphs, like it kind of blew my mind, like as to the age. Wait, what? <laughs> Come to Utah. We've got lots of them. I'll see what I can do. Although I mean, not anytime you know, soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody's doing anything. <laughs> All of a sudden, Gary shows up at your front door. We got. What? You said come to Utah. We How were, did you get here? Well, you we know. were having we were having some some uh, like a regional uh, call team call uh, at work, and um, we were talking about like vacation time. Because everybody's canceling their vacations because why the fuck are we taking vacations? Because we can't go anywhere, right? Yeah. But now, but then it's like, okay, but actually take vacations because we can't, we also can't support everybody taking vacations all at once when all of this blows over. That's true. And then it's like, oh, Jesus, like, I don't want to, I don't want to have another, like, we had a staycation, like, and yeah. I don't want another one. <laughs> I'd rather, if I'm going to be here, I'd rather be doing something. I mean, I'll, I'll, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, like, what does a va- what does a vacation really look like yeah. other than a staycation? Is that right? Even a thing? Yeah. I um, I just I two things procedural questions. Procedural. <laughs> um, first, uh, do we intend to topic today? I have I a topic. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I, I had don't a topic last people. week too. I know, and someone flaked out. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry um, um today, i ran into so my what neighbor was your second question sorry oh um i don't remember now <laughs> i will it'll come up it'll come up in due time the first it was it was whatever let's just yeah. let's topic the this topic, is usual. let's topic <laughs> let's topic the topic today is alluromancy alluromancy mm-hmm. can you please use it in a sentence <laughs> The topic today is a little romancy. And could you please spell it? <laughs> yes, spell it, please. A L E U R O M A N C Y. A L E U R O M A N C Y. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Um. We've all taken part in a romancy. No, that's probably not even true, but. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't pretend to know all everything about your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of, of the Mitch Hedberg bit where he starts a letter to his dad. I rarely pilot steamboats, dad. There's a lot of shit you don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be some really welcome humor right now. You know what? As we talk, I'm going to turn on the sprinklers. Great. Oh, Florida. <laughs> 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 How quaint. <laughs> And I'm here being like, maybe I can go out on my porch sometime soon. <laughs> I almost do this call on my porch, and I... That would be a real thinking. kick to the gut. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't then. <laughs> um, it didn't because I was... Uh, oh, cool, the sprinkler's hitting the window. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> like, what is going on? All of a sudden, Gar- you're like, Gary? it's raining. That was my alluromancy, making the sprinklers hit your window. Be right back. I have to move that one because it's not watering anything that needs water. The window's fine. The window's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I guess do have, I, I do not have sprinklers or what was it that he was asking about before or buckets. I do not have sprinklers buckets. or buckets. Can you hear me right now? Yeah, yeah. Actually, oh. I hear you quite clearly. That's cool. Wow. So, yeah. I actually, I almost think I hear you clearer where you are now than when you were in the office. Okay. Well, I don't know why the water, it turned off on its own after I watered the front porch. What the hell was going uh, on here? Maybe it's a keep... motion sensing uh, sprinkler, sprinkler system. <laughs> like it saw you it coming be... and then immediately turned itself off. That's it's like, aware. oh, hell no. I wonder if I need to read. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Okay. So, alluromancy is when you can turn <laughs> yourself into a, an animal. And so, Gary is actually still here. He's just a dog who we your see running around the room every once here. in a while and talking. Yeah. Oh, he's so mad. There was another dog outside. I'm going to try this again. Oh. What? Let's see if it tells me why it turned off. 
(laughs) How self-aware is it? Like, what would it say? Sorry about that. Uh, Well, it's Bluetooth, so it would say like, so like I have this, I have this this app that lets me turn on my sprinklers. Uh, I see a big button. Yeah, it's a little glary. There we go. Um, And so it will show gallons per minute consumed. Is it backwards for you? It's backwards for me. No, 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 you can see it. Yeah, yeah. So it shows how many gallons I consume, gallons per minute. I'm not sure why it turned off though. I turned it on for 30 minutes and it, I walked outside to move it and it shut off, like saw me coming. I think I so. Know. I think so. You got to quit that. It's another dog. We're okay. I promise. We're not under attack. Dude's uh, Alluromancy. Okay. So because I've been spending so much time with my brain inside of uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Alluromancy is obviously a form of magic. It is. Uh, it absolutely is. Yeah. Um, it is the ability to conjure something with your mind. Oh, wait, that's it's already something else, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. What is that called? Uh, that would be some sort of psionic thing. Psionic? Uh, yes, psionic. I think people psionic. Make mental, mental powers. P-S-Y-O. No, P-S-I-O. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, romance-y. So a let's romance. let's break. I, I, I when I, you I, said it, when you said it, I wanted it to be like the magic around like attracting people like romantically, like a like alluring. But then you spelled it and like, oh, that doesn't really work because um, it that would need to be like a l u r o mancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm alluring. I'm a little romancy. I'm using a little romancy to to get a date during pandemic. <laughs> Speaking of which, does anybody Tinder anymore? Is that a thing? Like I th- <laughs> I think it's a Apparently. thing still. And and people just stop. Just if you're watching this or listening to this and you're tindering or like grindering or any of those <laughs> stupid <laughs> things, just just stop. Just stop. Get a vibrator, get a like a sleeve or something or just, you know, not. Just just stop because people all of a sudden this turns into like a now. weird dating podcast <laughs> no i think i think to chris's point self-care is important during this time of stress <laughs> at six feet <laughs> <laughs> that is very well endowed <laughs> no i saw, there was a there was a uh, uh a meme thing that i saw that w- uh was like showing like kama sutra positions and like which ones would actually be okay it's touching my face <laughs> jesus i'm gonna wear mittens that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> you'll be like one of those babies that has the mittens so they can't scratch themselves mm. uh and right. even with this cat today uh, the cat you know is perf- the cat's performing you know, a luromancy. It's trying to get your attention. You know you don't even have a cat. <laughs> a luromancy is the the a, a magical ability that allows you to throw your voice into other parts of the room and sound like other animals. But it's yeah, and it's particular to animals. It's particular to animals. Yeah. 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 It's not just throwing your voice like right. Yeah. Like right. That would just be that would just be like you know illusionism. <laughs> Um, so, so like the dog earlier from outside that was bothering Gary's dog, that was a little romancy. It was just some, just some person making them. Oh, no, I think that dog's name is, uh, Joe. No, Joe, uh, Joe Biden. My tongue. Bailey, I think. I think the dog's name is Bailey. Do you think they teach a little romancy at Hogwarts? No, no. I think it's like, uh, maybe a prerequisite. No, I think I think a luromancy is like maybe a chapter in a book. Like I think it's like just a, like you you get you, you cover a luromancy for like oh it's like a like historical a week. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's not something anybody uses anymore. You, it's like it's something that yeah. you just cover. You need to get over. You need to get the requirements out of the way. Uh, it, yeah, it leads that, to the more interesting things. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. <laughs> I was going to give you an update on how many gallons of water I've used. And fourteen. Excellent. Yes. What's what's uh how many gallons, how many gallons of water is a um, is a tip when you water your your yard? How many gallons do you typically use? You got a hundred. You got a hundred somewhere in that range. 
which is like baffling. How does grass ever grow in Florida that a hundred gallons would be what it needs to on gallons like two or three times a week to keep my lawn green? So dumb. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Why do you have to hell with homeowners homeowners associations? That's why. Oh, good. Bailey's walking. Gallons in a liter. Uh, point. Isn't there four liters in a gallon? Oh, no, those are quarts. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Because, because quart is short for quarter. Yeah. yeah. So what, how, how does a liter relate to a quart? It doesn't. It's metric. No, you can compare them though. Oh, okay, yes. I don't know. I don't need to relate. <laughs> hey. Uh, 3.7 liters to one gallon. Okay. Okay. 3.7 liters to one gallon. So, so a liter is bigger than a quart, Chris. That's. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I no longer have any idea. I don't own a car, so I'm not like paying for gas a lot. But in Canada, yeah. it's by the liter, and so I have no idea gas prices or anything anymore. Yeah, because it would be liter per kilometer, right? And it's just like I just people are like, "Look at those prices," and I'm like, "I have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's good, what's bad." <laughs> it's like, yeah, what like is this much per liter, and I'm like. <laughs> Uh, gas by me ranges from like two forty uh, to currently to like two seventy or two eighty. Oh, so you haven't seen a huge drop in gas prices, or is that a huge? That price? is that is the that is the drop. We were we were we were up in the two eighties before, um, oh. and and higher in some places before stuff happened. The place around the corner from me is a dollar forty seven a gallon right oh now. Oh my like, god! Yeah, we I know. We haven't but gotten. I, know, I mean, there there have been places in Utah that have gotten two, like down to two dollars a gallon, but we have not gotten sub two dollars. But then you're not yeah. going anywhere, so it's also like that's great. the thing. What I could go fill up and be like, oh, I saved a bunch of money that's going to sit in my van for. You know, I don't know. I mean, when am I going to use that gas? Well, Aaron's, well, Aaron's going the, places. You need to get she's out. She's going the places. Uh, she's she's going out there. And, like they went off in some dirt road, dirt trail somewhere, and, and found cool right. cave thing. And out of the office. Town. I've had enough. Um, I'm trying to work here. Come on, come on. Where'd you go? go? Park out there. So we actually we actually do use the the gas and mm-hmm. try to go places when where we're not going to get kicked out. Just like high school. <laughs> Again, it's that nostalgia. <laughs> you look like you have something to say, Gary. I have <laughs> so much to say. I have so much. But none of it's about a little romancy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is the... Uh, I still feel like it's a way to make something like conj- make something happen, but I don't know why I think that. Let's break the word down, Chris. Okay, it's been successful Alluro. for us never. Alluro, uh-huh. which is, means it's a what? kind of car. It's a okay. kind of car. And Mansi is magic, so car magic. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. The mat, the magic of cars. Why did we just start there? <laughs> well, look. So, so <laughs> everybody's not operating it, at 100%. by practicing the Alluro Mansi, you can get into your car yeah. and go, and it starts right up. Um, so, you know, like when people, when people first started traveling by train, right, there was concern that the human body wouldn't be able to, to handle the speed, you know, that like your organs would shift inside your body, your person. Um, and, uh, now we just do that for fun. Humans shift are your so organs inside your person. Sometimes. I mean, go really fast so that your organs get shifted around inside your body. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. To that point, like we, uh. What a weird, what a weird turn that must have been for the guy that was convinced that people were going to die. They finished their, he's like, you're all still alive. I need to rethink everything. I might even travel by rail, you know, like. If, if we were alive then, uh, we would not be doing this podcast. So it's kind of a dumb question, but what, what kinds of topics do you suspect we would have in the early days of railroads? Uh, um, I mean, it'd probably be things like Indians, related... good or bad. Um, I don't think we've done a good or bad episode, have we? 
I try to keep things light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like death penalty pros and cons. <laughs> you try to keep things light, but we did have that, that conversation about what makes a salad. And that still yeah. keeps me up some nights, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> had yeah <laughs> someone gave me a suggestion that was like it could be a continuation of the salad discussion i was like i don't know if anybody <laughs> yeah the salad discussion <sighs> <laughs> well buckle up <laughs> sometimes are you just eating something and you're like i don't even know who i am anymore <laughs> is, this, is yeah. this a salad <laughs> Oh my god, I had the image of that meme with the kid looking at the butterfly, but like holding a bowl of salad. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> so uh, all of you Binary Jazz fans out there, uh, there's your mission, is to make us a meme with the kid with the butterfly and, and it sets a bowl of salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think way back when if i was old timey and trying to come up with a topic for a podcast i'd probably be declared a witch and <laughs> demolished depends on how old timey it depends on yeah. how old timey how, how far back they, we're going yeah we're not yeah. going to colonial you know that okay or... or the next leap would be i'd be the weird spinster that's like muttering yeah. to myself on the edge of town i mean i would be a spin spinster too so <laughs> wouldn't be spinstress probably... maybe I mean, I guess it depends on what your pronouns are. Um, yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't want these gendered terms in my old timey. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be involved with some kind of weird internal, no, uh, steam engine part production. You yes. Know? Yep. The efficiency of the something valve in a steam engine would be where I would spend all my time. Yeah. I feel Very like you would look like, it. like, kind of a steampunky cosplay. <laughs> Vibe. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Yep. You'd have goggles and like, yeah. Yeah, instead of, yes, I, absolutely, I would have goggles with like leather framing and well and beyond when they were like ironically cool, I would just wear them forever, you know? <laughs> and my hair would be- Why do you not, I mean, now. we should just get those goggles now. Why do you not wear them? I don't go to the, I mean, because I got these five years ago and that seems sufficient, Chris. I'm not going to be an optometrist. <laughs> Jeez. Also, <laughs> I can't tell which of you is like... which right now, so- <laughs> I do need to go get the eye check done, but I don't know. You, I mean, you know, you go to the optometrist or whoever, whatever they put, they're called, and they're like, uh, "This is better or worse?" Like, well, it's better, but I don't want to wear binoculars, so <laughs> like, it's fine. Like, I, what's re like, how much do I really reasonably need to be able to read at a distance? You know, right now I'm not driving, so not much. The last time I had one of those <laughs> tests uh, was when I learned that I had keratoconus. Uh, which yeah. I've talked about previously, and and so, so like they would do that. They would do that. Is this better or worse? And I'd be like, well, like, in one eye, it's better now, mm -hmm. but like, it's also not. And like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I would go through the whole thing, good, bad, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, okay, now do this. And he put puts the two things together. And I'm like, no, this is awful. <laughs> So we'd go through the whole thing again, like, is this better or worse? Blah, 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 blah. And like, yeah, okay, okay. And then they put the things together and then, no, I can't, I can't see anything. Yeah. You're I like, mean, the I process get it. is not working for yeah. me. And that's when he was like, let me, let me look at a thing. And, and then he's like, you should have this, uh, you should have go to this other guy who can do like a topography thing. And then I did. And it turned out that like my eyeballs look like, like mountainous mountain ranges and, um, yeah. And you have x-ray vision. And I have x-ray vision. No, I mean, it's, 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 um, like I, and I learned through, uh, through talking to, you know, the, the, the doctor that was going to like, that fitted me for like contact lenses and stuff. Like some people just, just adapt. And I think that I've just adapted, um, like your, your brain compensates and like, so with the fact that I can see anything and read normally on a screen or on a piece of paper is just kind of, you know, I mean, it's not like my eyes, it's not like I don't need prescription, like regular glasses anyway. It's just like the prescription is so minor that, and, and then like I just, my brain just offsets everything, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't have headaches really. So whatever. That's good. Yeah. Cause if that were, if that were the case. Right. right. Yeah. And that's the thing, Gary, is that you should like, it's not about whether you can see it, it's like eye strain. Cause if you're straining then like your posture will change and your eyes are straining to read the regular stuff and like sure you can probably do it 
but wouldn't you rather just like sit back at a normal distance and be like, oh, so, like what you're doing right now is, is not good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say there, uh, Chris. <laughs> um, but I say uh, this to somebody with like very bad vision, so. Well, and these are, here's the other thing. Like I went and I did the uh, whole eye exam and bought like the cheapest pair I could get there and took my prescription and hopped online to Zenny Optical and bought like four pairs of glasses from China for $50. Um, let me say this about the Chinese shipped glasses. Like uh, they are not as good a quality as what you get at your local eye doctor, not surprisingly. Um, so like once I wear like a pair for a while, I have another pair that I kind of like that are metal frames. Not sure where they are, obviously. Um, and, uh, but like, there's a difference in the, the pupillary focal point. So when I put them on, like for the first like hour, I'm like, whoa, I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's, that's why I get like in a pair and I stay in them for years because I hate that. I feel like for weeks after that, I put in that new pair and. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, we've reached the time of the of the call where uh, we <laughs> find out what the topic means, what alluromancy actually is. Alluromancy yeah. is. It is. You're right about the magic. It's yes. the use. Not shockingly, it's the use of flour for divination. Flour, flour. like like wheat flour, like yeah. baking flour. Oh, not like daisies or tulips, but. No. Yeah, that's what I heard first, but it was singular, which made me wonder because I, I would assume that if you were going to use flowers for divination or magic, then it would be it would be described oh. as using flowers, plural, not or, flower or a flower. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So like poured it out in heaps, and then like <laughs> interpretation, or oftentimes it's the patterns of flour left in a bowl after you bake, or it can also be um, like a fortune cookie. So like some sort of message or something written wow. in little baked goods. Um, oftentimes like cakes or cookies or like sometimes when they like, you have like a lucky something and whoever gets that piece is like, it means something. Or... I'm having a cookie after lunch. Thank you. <laughs> Aaron's bacon today, hopefully. They're gonna, mm. they're gonna make cookies. You could so say you like, can, hey, you can practice some alluromancy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's something else I think that was interesting about it. Oh, I don't know. They also were like, it might explain the origins of Ash Wednesday pancakes, but it's like. I listened to a Stuff You Should Know podcast about um, what's the big parade thing they do in New Orleans? Oh my gosh. Uh, Mardi Gras? Yeah. Oh, parade. Well, there's a lot of parades that go along with Mardi Gras. And they yeah, are, a parade of drunk people going from bar to bar. No, no, there's like in there's actual like uh, troops of people that are like the mask thing is that you were anonymously members of troops and they all have themes and have floats. There's actually a law in New Orleans that um, a float can only be used twice. It, it's in certain size per. It's really fascinating. It's a good episode of stuff you should know. <laughs> I, that's a that's a good podcast if you don't really want a podcast you're not just being condescending <laughs> no no it's, it's stuff you should know <laughs> no it's no that's in this podcast it's great but it's like and, I, and you don't have to listen to it in any kind of order like you can just pop in and be like oh this episode from four years ago looks like an interesting topic and 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 walk away going oh i'm in something um yeah i don't think people have to listen to binary jazz in any sort of order either although i think it makes us more endearing if if people do <laughs> I mean, there's probably some like internal like callbacks to stuff that I miss because I don't listen to it in any kind of order, but they're pretty good about keeping that out. Like there's certainly not the common thread of like the Dyson sphere or anything like that, <laughs> you know? Although maybe from this episode, we'll see an uptake in the salad episode. I'm sure, I will certainly go listen I'm sure to that people because, will, will listen to this and then immediately go listen to the, the salad episode. I will. Uh, oh no, I won't. I have a meeting in eight minutes, but I will listen to the salad episode at some point today unless I forget, in which case, you know, probably never listen to it again. Uh, so all or nothing proposition here, people. I, no I, we, we just finished uh, Tiger King last night. 
Uh, and uh, contrary to your description of uh, stuff you should know, I learned nothing other than humanity <laughs> is horrible <laughs> and people are really dumb. All, all I, uh, I, uh, I, I'm still on the fence about digging into Tiger King. Oh, you should watch it. Everyone should how watch many it. How many episodes is it? It's seven. Yeah, I'm in the middle each, of... Each, one, each um, one is roughly like an hour, yeah. We're in the middle of Parks and Rec right now. Um, no, you, I mean, you need a chaser. You need a chaser yeah. after Tiger King. So you could still be watching Parks and Rec, but like watch, watch yeah. Tiger King go, holy fucking shit! And then you can watch Parks and Rec and like it can be, be a good come down. Um, yeah, I, we've been, we've I been watching. Like, uh, we've been watching out loud. It's time for me to go to bed. Yeah, we've been watching. Uh, we've been watching a Chinese, uh, yeah. a Chinese uh, romantic comedy soap opera thing uh, as our chaser. Um, oh, I want some. A, a new one. A new one. I actually, want a fortune cookie. I want cheap Chinese takeout. Um, what's it called? Thanks. Uh, accidentally in love. Is, is the new <laughs> one we're watching. Someone else mentioned that to me. It's it's better than a lot of them. I mean, they all have basically the same plot. So it's like the things that you uh, the things that 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 appeal about one thing versus another thing are like really minor. Um, in this case, it's a, it's a lot funnier um, intentionally, and um, and uh, the the main female lead is like uh, doesn't take shit from people. Uh, so that makes it a lot more endearing than than a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. yeah because a lot of them are like oh i can't do that okay <laughs> i'm not allowed okay i'll just be over here and be sad you can't uphold doing that voice for <laughs> <laughs> i can for the remaining I can, time I can, this episode? I can do it for 40 minutes just watch me <laughs> <laughs> people will be like who's that who's that i don't know <laughs> the guest where, did chris, where did chris go <laughs> who's this person <laughs> it's <laughs> funny it's like it's just a really funny form of like not ventriloquism <laughs> I, I, be, I would be the worst ventriloquist you would just yeah. always see my lips moving <laughs> I, would, I would like put the puppet there, in front of my mouth and like oh <laughs> there's an episode on ventriloquism uh stuff you should know and yeah. there's some creepy parts in it that's oh. great that's less great <laughs> Thank you for telling me, bi binary Gary. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I just I can't even like reconcile. I can't even right now. That's my mood as well. Unable I can't to reconcile. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yesterday was uh, April Fool's Day. Anyone? No. Oh, I. Yeah, I, I, boy I, I boycotted and I. Like Aaron, Aaron got some email that was that was actually an April Fool's joke, and she's like, "Oh my God, is this like liquor stores are closing?" Oh no, never mind. <laughs> hey, that would be the 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 people that go through alcohol withdrawal really uh, I end up in issues with like. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz. Thank you.